I, Adam Abaro. A historic moment. After 22 years of Jame's rule, Adam Abaro is sworn in as the country's new president in Gambia's embassy in Dakar. Outside, a jubilant crowd of young Gambians capture a glimpse of the new president. They spontaneously sing the national anthem. Among them, Habibatu Haidara and her two-year-old son. The new Gambia is born today because we have now liberty, freedom, and everything we find now in the Gambia. But Jame still won't let go of power and refuses to leave the state house. Many of his supporters have defected, including senior members of the cabinet and the military. Jame is under the protection of the presidential guards and some part of the security forces that have remained loyal to him. As the commander in chief of the army, in his speech, Barrow calls on the military to surrender. Personal, I command the chief of the defense staff and other officers of high command to demonstrate their loyalty to me as their commander in chief. The West African nations have launched a military operation in Gambia involving 7,000 men to unseat Yaya Jame. They reached the outskirts of the capital, Banjul, and halted the operation. Jame has been given a final deadline. He has until midday Friday to hand over power. An ECOWAS mediation team led by the Guinean president will hold talks with Jame. Meanwhile, thousands of people continue to flee across the border in Senegal. Adam Abaro is still there too, waiting for the end of the military operations to return to Banjul. The people here are shouting down, down, down with Yaya Jame. For them, it doesn't matter that he was inaugurated here in Senegal. What matters is that they have a new president and that perhaps they'll finally be able to go back home. Many here have been waiting for two decades for the end of Jame's rule. And so they say they can wait a little more for change to finally arrive. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.